Hello there, welcome to my channel. I am Ariana and I make art videos. So uh, I got this little sketchbook here and I drew something underneath here, but I was not a fan of it. So I covered it up in black ink and now this is what we got left with. Um, and I'm gonna paint something on top. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna paint yet. I have a couple ideas, we'll see what happens. Um, I was originally gonna paint something in with gouache so it would show up on the black surface, but now maybe I'll do acrylics. Uh, acrylic paint that is um yeah i'm not sure what will happen but we'll see so keep on watching why hello there again um it's me i guess a different me than you heard previously so uh what i started doing here is i started doing a sketchy sketchy um and of course i had my reference image right next to me the whole entire time um this thing came out kind of messy at the beginning and I figured that um, I was going to be covering it in acrylic paint, so you wouldn't really be able to see it if it wasn't that great anyway, so yeah, don't judge it so far. Keep watching, I swear it gets better. <laughs> um, and then right off the bat, it was a huge mess. So apparently the ink I was using, um, I don't know if I didn't let it dry down long enough, or I don't know what the deal was. Um, it was supposed to be waterproof, but I don't know, maybe it's not acrylic proof. Because as soon as I started putting the paint on the pa paint on the ink, um, it started lifting up. So I w as I was getting the blue colors for the pants, it was getting all muddy and black, and all the black was mixing in with like the skinny tones and this and that and whatever, and it was it was just a mess. So um, take heed in my warning. I don't know if that's the right way to use that word, but. Um, maybe do like a layer if i mean don't paint on top of ink i i don't know what i'm saying girl it's like 3 a.m i'm tired but anyways oh see when i'm doing the white you can really tell it gets like really gross and muddy and gray and whatever so if you're planning on doing something like this where i covered it up in ink um really check what kind of ink you're using and maybe test it out before you start painting and if something similar like this does happen, um, maybe take some black acrylic paint and put it over the top so there's a nice finish because acrylic on acrylic will work much better. Yeah. Um, and also just using acrylic paint in a sketchbook, which is just a mixed media sketchbook. I don't know if that was the best idea, but um, you know, it happened and it, I think it turned out pretty nice in the end. So I guess, I guess that's what matters. Um, yeah. So I'm just painting away, um, yeah, so uh, how are you doing? I'm listening to this dog barking across the street, because I swear, these people, their dogs bark 24-7, like, I hear it through their house, like, they're just across the street, and I can hear their dog barking all through the night, I mean, it just doesn't stop. <sighs> Yep, so that's that's the life I'm living right now, and um, yeah, I don't know. So I forgot to record a beginning part of this hair process, but this is actually my favorite part. The hair was really fun because um, I just was like globbing a bunch of heat together and hoping it would mix, and I don't know. I think it looked, just looks really cool, and the colors in general. And by the way, I don't know if I talked about this already or if I just, I don't know. So, um... I was browsing Instagram and I found this photo of Bella Thorne, but I was digging the pants in this photo. I don't know, it just, it caught my eye and it was just like, it, it popped out and also her hair popped out quite a bit. So uh, that's what inspired me to uh, paint this, I guess. Yeah. And then in a second you'll see with um, the Fine Tech paints, yeah, I painted her jewelry and some other little details here and there. And I thought that added a nice little pop of color, a pop of shininess, and um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I don't know if I said that in the last clip or not, but I'll see you later. Toodles! Okay, so this is my finished piece, and around me is my finished mess. So, um, yeah, here is a little bit of a close-up and some of that sparkliness from her jewelry that I added. 
and uh yeah so thank you so much for watching if you're interested stick around and subscribe and i'll see you later toodles